going on guys wanted to do a video talking about elephant money um you know i'm i uh, was just waking up to that uh this morning and so i wanted to kind of give some of my thoughts you can see here just give you a little bit of a background we're uh finishing up carbone and that's one of the reasons why uh, i haven't been online as much as uh this is boy i tell you what this is this is work uh this is a lot of work i mean we're clearing some of my land here um you know clearing out some space these guys are working for not a whole lot of money. I'm, I'm not gonna be making any money off of this. Basically gonna be a little bit of a loss. I'm it be, might, might be like a break even, but uh, there's there's a little bit of a strategy that we're gonna be implementing. But uh, anyways, so uh, yeah, but as, as far as elephant money, man, I mean, you know, um, my heart goes out to you know, a lot of the people that got liquidated. You know, that was, um, you know, uh, something you know that uh is is difficult to deal with i know and i, I know there's going to be some negativity in the comment section i know there was quite a lot of people who were affected i lost i lost a lot of money but uh i think the thing to keep in mind is that this is also um there, there's a lot of opportunity with with a lot of this i mean i i was buying you know i bought the bottom at, at 11 cents i don't think we're going to see 11 cents anymore um it's already doubled in price so uh for for those of you that that are able you know, I think this is a great opportunity. This is something that is going to go up. So this was not an exploit or anything really of that nature. I mean, this was uh, some, some big whales selling that kind of caused a cascade effect of liquidations with this new infinite money glitch coined by Michael Saylor and something that allows people to to accumulate more in, in a pumping token. I played around with this strategy that was on Solen, but I didn't get as invested as a lot of other people. And I think that's what really was causing, you know, the price of, of trunk, you know, to, to, to go to, to where it was. But, you know, it's not sustainable, you know, doing 10, 20% daily. There was bound to be a drawback. I've been in BT's projects longer than most everyone in the community. And, you know, there, there has been some of these events that are you know very frustrating I, I do think this is a um you know a, a really good opportunity to get in i, I had a, a friend of mine that uh, was able to buy the bottom here um i don't think we're going to see 11 cents again i th i think it's probably going to go somewhere between 40 cents and 80 cents and probably stay in that range for a little while as it, as it climbs back up this is permissionless the keys are renounced this has been the focus of the ecosystem and it looks like that's going to continue I, I see I see opportunity here. I know a lot of people were affected, and there's going to be a lot of people that that will leave and, and, and won't come back. But um, you know, there's a long history here of development and transparency. So I, I see I see this as a great buying opportunity. What other opportunities do you have to get into something that is going to double in price in you know maybe a month or so? I could easily see that happen. You know, my plan was was not to touch my trunk for you know maybe like a year or so. So, you know, fortunately I, I didn't, you know, lose any. I lost, you know, a lot of value. This is DeFi, so there's gonna be some risk when, when you're getting into some of these things. And I think getting into a leveraged play, which is what, you know, was happening on Soul End. I mean, futures is kind of a mini version of that without the, you know, the same type of gains. Um, the USDC pool is a little bit concerning. I, I know that uh, some people you know, lost quite a bit of value in there. I see that there was, you know, some liquidations that, you know, were, were covered with the USDC pool, and I don't really understand why that happened. I thought the USDC pool was going to be safe. Uh, so I, I would imagine that would that would get fixed, or there would be some, you know, some updates to that. I, I really don't know. I, again, you know, I, I, I feel for the people that were affected in this, and um, but uh, I do feel it's a, it's a great opportunity um, to get trunk at these prices. I wasn't really looking at buying trunk at you know dollar fifty this is probably going to head to you know the the ten twenty dollar range at, at some point in the future maybe a year from now so uh, perhaps that could be um, something that is uh you know a good long-term play in the short term i didn't really you know see that as as a, a really good buying opportunity not that i really had funds to to get into it at, at that point anyways but at, at 11 cents you know i <laughs> It, that that is an opportunity you can't miss right now you know i think the price is about 21 cents uh, at the time of, of filming this video it's, it's been it was it was my biggest holding and you know i lost a lot of value in that but uh i i i see it coming back once it gets to a point where maybe the, the price starts to stall out then that might be where you know elephant money might be a good a good play at that point once you know futures and and 
and trunk really stabilize, um, you know, I think we might start to see a slow rise of, of, uh, of elephant money again. I had to sell my elephant bag uh, slowly over time. And, um, you know, so I, I took, you know, pretty big loss on that because the majority of my elephant I bought, you know, back during, you know, the first hack like two years ago, and I've been holding on to it ever since. I've lost a lot of value. I've, I've uh, also made a lot of money in different ecosystems that, that Bank Teller has built. You know, perhaps that infinite money glitch might actually be a, a good play uh, at this point, you know, once the USDC pool gets gets fixed or, or whatever happens with that. I'm still kind of learning as to why that's, uh, people are not able to pull their money out. And I know that people are pissed, but uh, you know, this is crypto and you know, things, things like this happen. Uh, especially in DeFi. Project is is uh, not going away. It's not going to zero. I don't think it's going to go below 11 cents again. I think this was just uh, people getting over leveraged. It, it caused a, a cascade of, of liquidations and sells and, and panic, especially in the foreign communities. You've got a lot of people that don't know the full history of you know, things that have been going on with these ecosystems that have been built. And I think a lot of people that have been around for a long time, you know, see, they see this as a great you know, buying opportunity like myself. You know, those are the people I think that are gonna reap the benefits of this. So yeah, uh, you know, that, that's kind of where I stand on things. And I uh, just kind of wanted to do a video to kind of kind of give my thoughts on this. Like I, you know, it's, it's, it's tough. I'm heavily affected, uh, you know, in this as well. Um, not as much as others, I'm, I'm sure. Now, this is um, uh, something that's gonna strengthen the community, you know, for the future. You're gonna have to look at trying to make that soul end pool something that is a, a little bit safer you know supposedly you know like 30 percent uh loan to value ratio was kind of the recommendation that that was going to be um safe I, I heard someone that was at like 12 percent that got liquidated so um, maybe if you were at 10 percent you were, you were getting liquidated i don't know what the safe place going to be in the future if if you decided you know to do that uh that play again i mean that was what was really driving the price up um, once it passed a dollar, I mean, it was, it, it, it passed a dollar and went straight to what, a dollar 64, I think at its peak. I don't see any reason why I can't do it again in, in the near future, in the next several months. So anyways, those are my thoughts. I'm just gonna be deleting, you know, over, overtly negative comments in the comment section. So I know a lot of people want to vent. But anyways, uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I'll uh, catch you guys in the next video and um, give you guys an update you know on some of the things I'm doing here in, in, in the future I mean this is uh, kind of looks bad right now but um, you know we're gonna this is the best time to be planting when you kind of do a little bit of a burn a little bit of a clearing and so um, we're looking at maybe building some some new buildings out here um, maybe like a chicken house and, you know some other things and you know I had planned on on using some of my profits from elephant money um, here in the near future to, to do that and I still plan on doing that, and I think it's uh, still going to be, uh, you know, a viable play. You know, futures is still doing real well. That could be a much safer way to go. You know, it's got a, a pretty, pretty good APR. I don't know as much about Savannah House, but Savannah House might be a good play as well. Um, I know it's down massively in value. Uh, it's still fairly new. Anyways, uh, I'll give you guys uh, more updates here on the future on on, on what we're working on here, and. Um, I'll catch you guys in the next video.